Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to talk about getting clean ellipses in Photoshop. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. Now generally this is something that I'd be doing at the brush tool, but in the case of ellipses, I actually like to use the shape tool. So I'm going to make a new layer here on top of my line drawing. I'll select the ellipse tool and make sure you have this shape selected. This is not a path and it's not pixels. It'll really work best this way. And I have no fill, but I do have a stroke. And that's how it's gonna have this outlined look. Now the nice thing about this being vector based is that I can just move it around my canvas and put it where I want it. And I don't have to worry about degrading the quality like if I were transforming pixels. So another thing I can do is duplicate it and then I can shrink it down Duplicate it again, shrink it down. Now, normally if I were shrinking something down like this, the line quality would be thinner. You'd have sort of the thickest one would be the large one. And then every time I shrunk it down, it would look accordingly smaller. Now in this case, they all have a two pixel stroke. And that's not gonna change no matter how much you transform it. So for having sort of uniform line weight, these are excellent. Now you'll see there's a problem here. This is an overlapping form, and yet you can see the entire thing. As you can see here, I'm not allowed to use the eraser tool. This is a vector layer. But there's a workaround. I like to add an empty mask, and this I can paint in with black brush. So using the brush tool, I can hide away part of this layer, and then I can continue with my drawing. So I'll select my original one here, duplicate it. I need to change the degree of this ellipse a little bit. And then in this case, I'd probably apply another empty mask and hide away part of it. So when I hide my underdrawing here, you can see that these lines are very precise. And eventually, if you want them to be editable like a normal bitmap layer, no problem. I'll make just an empty layer here select that as well as all of my other shape layers and merge visible. So there you have normal layers just like you're used to working with. Now at the end of the day, it's always important to be able to draw freehand ellipses. It's just one of the things that comes along with drawing. But sometimes what you need is a little more accuracy and in those cases, using a shape like this is really just a great way to go about it. You can modify it as much as you want you can duplicate them, and the line weight is always gonna stay the same. So really, it might not feel exactly like drawing, but it's extremely useful when the situation calls for it. So here you can see a little worksheet that I've made to go along with this video. And these are just ellipses of various sizes and shapes, some of which you can see the entirety of, and some of which are partially covered up. I encourage you to download this and just try tracing these shapes using the ellipse tool. It's one of those things that is a little awkward at first, but you'll quickly get the hang of it and you'll see why these are so powerful. So have fun drawing and thanks for coming to the site guys.